Yeah, I almost died because, you see, I watched Lost with, well, Six Feet Under, sorry. It's over, done, yeah. but, you know, Lost is, is in our house. We have not missed an episode, and my two sons are just... The three of us, this, we have bonding time with Lost, so oh, thank you. Oh, good. <laughs> good, good <laughs> okay, right. uh, my God, you know, just watching this, I had such a great time watching it. You couldn't have not had a great time making it. Oh, I had a blast making it. I had a great time doing it, yeah. Is Hilarious. It, is it an actor's dream to be part of something like this? Yeah, absolutely. I know it says it's a cliche, but in this instance, it's actually, it's true. It's an honor to work with these people. They're outlaws. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, legendary in their own time. There's, there's no question about it. And yeah. you know, what is it like to? Well, first of all, when you guys got this script, I need to know what your first reaction was because, you know, a well, little freaked out. No, well, we didn't get the script till later. You know, Robert called and said, "Hey, you know, you want to come and play? You want to be a com you know, part of our film?" And we had no idea what we were going to do. We just said, "Fine, you know, we'll be a part of it." And uh, and it wasn't until like the table read that we got the script and we realized what was going to happen, which was uh, which was crazy. Everything you saw on, on film. Yeah, and you know uh, the reading, Quentin was there reading, you know, one of the parts, oh, and yeah. it's just the whole thing is crazy. Do you know what I mean? It's like one minute you're looking at a scene, the next minute Quentin's at the table. Yeah. <laughs> but but we knew that Robert could. It was crazy, but but if anybody was going to pull it off, we knew that Robert would pull it off. Okay, know? now how sick and twisted is Robert Rodriguez? Not at all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's, that's a, he's a loving family man. <laughs> but they always are, aren't they? Yeah. It's the uh, <laughs> it's Dr. Behind. Jekyll and, and Mr. Hyde aspect. <laughs> <laughs> so where does this come from within this guy? I mean, seriously, you're on set with this director who, yes, you know, I've spoken to him. He's, yeah, you're right. And then, whoa, he gives us this stuff. Yeah. He's just, you know, he like Quentin, he's a, he, he's a fan of that genre. He's a fan of film. And so... Uh, you know, like like every great director, they 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 you know they learn from their past. They learn from directors that came before them, and then they incorporate and infuse their own style. You know, so a lot of this, you know, zombie movies have been done in the past, right? And so he's just taking the elements that have been cool and incorporated his own thing to it. And then when you guys get up there, I mean, you know, you're saying you have so much fun, but really, how much freedom did he allow you guys to just go? It must have been so much fun just to play such badasses. Right. Complete and utter freedom, because of course there's no producers there. You know, they are operating com outside of the studio system, and that uh, affects the whole creative process in a wonderful way, I have to say. And Freddie, for you, I mean, action packed. This is like, yeah. Whew, are we gonna, you know, new new moniker for you, action maybe. heroes? You know? Yeah, maybe. I had a blast doing it. I would do it all over again. Uh, yeah, it was different. I, you know, I've never done anything like that before. It was. I was so incredibly flattered when when Robert saw me in that light. You know, because you know he didn't have anything to reference that off of. Uh, but I think I think I pulled it off. I think it worked. You know, I, I would do it all over again. I'd eat balls again. You know, but I, I, I probably never get, get the opportunity in a studio picture. Well, um, I, I'm lost. You know, that could be a possibility Let's when you guys it. really get desperately hungry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's about time somebody started eating somebody yeah. else. John Locke, man, he's going to lose them. I think. Yeah, <laughs> I want them. I was going to say, you guys are so popular now because of your TV status. It's different from the movie status. Do you find that people, you know, you from Six Feet Under, you of course from Lost, do you find that people kind of stop you on the street more and, and you're more recognized? And what's that like for you guys? Yeah. yeah, just because of the nature of TV, I guess, that you're literally in people's homes as opposed to maybe doing art films or right. what might be considered art films. Well, yeah. I, th I think every actor is always... Uh, you know, defined by their hits, you know, whatever their hits are. You, you, you can do a great performance in a small budget film, but people are always going to stop you for your hits. Well, congratulations to both of you. This is so much fun. And, you know, come back for sequels. You, you, got, you know, you could have that zombie potentials. The, the, right. the missing reel. They're, exactly. I want to know what's on those missing reels. <laughs> yeah.